But we are. Oh yes. Okay, so this this is called yttrium barium copper oxide, superconducting material. It was only discovered in about 80, 1987, and um, it superconducts at a temperature at around 120 Kelvin. So we can use nitrogen, which goes down below that, to cool down this superconducting slug. This here is yttrium barium copper oxide, and this over here is a magnet. Now you can see at room temperature, nothing. There's no effect at all. You can see it's a magnet. I have a copper nail here somewhere. I have a copper nail. You can take my word from that. This, oh, here it is. This is a magnet. And uh, this is not, this is doing nothing. It's a slug. And nothing happens here either. So what happens now when we cool down the, uh, the slug? As you know from the video, you have to cool twice. First time it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, actually, I've so far I've been lucky. But, uh, <laughs> it doesn't look like it's pouring at all. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what happens if you breathe liquid nitrogen? Do you become nitrogen? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> so this is where it gets fun, because you'll see this is going to go all over the place. Now we take the magnets, and if we lucky, it should work first time. Or it won't. Yeah, maybe we should have twice. But the first time it didn't do this. Physics never works the first time. Warren Buffett's case it only ever works the first time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you can just get it right. <laughs> it just spins. Uh, yeah, it's rotating. You can, you can use it as a frictional, frictionless bearing. Can you see it spinning? Oh, wow. Yeah. How hard do you put it down? To like well, the point is that you see, if you knock it off too much, <laughs> now you can leave it there, you'll see as the, as the superconductor warms up, it loses its superconducting properties. So what's happening now is the magnetic field lines from this magnet are being expelled by the superconductor. They go all the way around, and that gives it a force in the opposite direction. But as the superconductor stops superconducting, the magnetic field then penetrates through this black super slug, and the, there's no force to oppose it, and it drops down. So you can, they build trains like this in, in, in China, I think in Germany they have one or two, where you have a maglev train. It's a train that levitates above the track, but I'll leave it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks a lot. Okay. Sure.